Hi YouTube world, Mosh Man back again with another review. This time my favourite of any of the deluxes that isn't in the movie. This is a really nice figure. Not a very complicated transformation, but a nice figure. It's a nice sturdy truck. It says S7 there. Uh, it's got a Decepticon logo on the grill, which you can't really make out because of the sun. It's got nice blue windows. Rolls lovely. He, uh, his name's Stockade. Stockade is content to follow anyone's orders as long as they involve kicking Autobots tailpipes. There you go. Um, I don't know what it is. It's an American tr uh, people carrier type thing, but or UV or whatever you call them in America. UA, UV, whatever it is. Uh, like I said, my favourite deluxe, apart from Barricade and Bumblebee. So, nice, nice, nice. Black again, as I said, I like black Transformers. Don't know why. I just like them. Especially with silver. Uh, simple transformation. Very easy. But worth it. Right, first thing you do is you bring down the front like so. Second thing you do is grab this big panel and fold backwards. Same again on the other side. Fold backwards and that shows the legs. Then you want to split apart the two pieces of the front mid down the center of the cab and rotate backwards. And now you're showing legs and arms. Then you want to bring, uh, split the legs, and then bring these panels to the back. I'll show you here. So you, so you bring it back to the back of the leg. And it stops at a stop. Then you want to pull out the feet from the folded away position, kind of thing. Pull out the ankle spurs, whatever they are. It has a Decepticon, Decepticon logo, Decepticon, Decepticon, <laughs> sorry, Decepticon label on there. Um, the arms, see they're joined together on this, with this bit, you've got to pull out and then back like that and then it can bend at the elbow. Then you bring out these panel, that panel, and then there's a panel there and you bring that out. And there we have, uh, and there's the fist. Uh, fingers, two, it's got two fingers and a thumb, and the two fingers can move separately from each other, so there is articulation in the hand. So this side, we do the same on the arm. You've got to pull to outwards and then up, and that bends at the elbow. Bring up the panels, and then finally you grab this panel, bring backwards until the head pops up. It's got a proper Autobot head, even though it's a Decepticon. You know, it looks like a proper old-fashioned G1 Transformer. Um, so that's it, basically. This chest piece can fall off or come off or whatever, but you just keep make sure it's on. Uh, I do like this robot. I don't know why. It's one of my favourite of the movie line. It's got some nice posability. It's got big arms. You know, they they are big. The hands, there's this feature, this grey thing here, if you go like that, it extends the hands. See, I'll push it back in, see? Does that both arms. There's all spark blue, again, because he's an all spark vehicle. Uh, head can move left and right just a little bit. It's, it won't go all the way round, it sort of stops. So you can hear it stopping. Uh, it can, can go back a little bit. The light piping doesn't really work because he's got only got it just on the sides of his heads. He's got a blue visor across the face, but it's got a bit of plastic behind it, so it only lights up around the sides. But that's a shame. But fingers do open, like I said. Arms articulation. It can go out to there. 
you know, it can't really go out further. It can rotate 360 degrees all the way around both arms. Uh, it can bend at the elbow just a little bit. Like I said, fingers move, head moves. Uh, legs, uh, they can go out. They can bend at the knees. The feet can move at the ankles. Um, they can go backwards and forwards. And the waist spins like so. That is robot mode, basically. Like I said, very, very poseable. You know, you can have him in all sorts of positions. He's a nice, nice, nice robot. I do recommend. Very worth getting. Very nice. To turn him back into the car mode again, which is my new thing. Uh, quite simple. Fold away the fists to make sure they're nice and neat. Uh, bring this panel back forward. Push down till the head clicks. It hides in the body. Then you want to bring the arms forward till they click in place. Fold up the flaps. So we do this again. Bring in the arms. Fold up the flaps. Um, then bring the whole section back around to the top, join the two panels together that make the top of the car, close these flaps down so that they form the back um, then you want to do the feet, fold away the spurs fold up the feet back into their position bring round these panels while they're separate because they are harder when they're not separate and then push together with two port, peg and port hole things clip right and it's nearly ready you just need to bring back these panels first make sure they're in the right position yeah make sure they're in the right position all clicked in and then you just bring back the bonnet click it in and there we have stockade back in a vehicle mode I hope you enjoyed I got a treat in the post on the way so I probably won't do another review for the week doing these three quickly in a row um, like I said very nice recommend hope you like my new style you know just add in the extra transformation at the end because it is harder sometimes thanks for watching I'll be back again soon. Mushman and out.